let's get started with google window toolkit we will try to understand more about gwt with an example after installing the google window toolkit plugin within eclipse we can create a new web application project pertaining into gwt after clicking on this and giving the project a name we can finally click on finish on doing which a web application project pertaining to gwt will be created as you can see we can enter the project name as well as the package name the package name plays a very important role with respect to overall application you can disconnect the use google app engine button and click on use google web toolkit button after entering the project name and package name the finish button will be enabled on clicking which a gwt web project will be created we have similarly created a project with name hello world and the package of the project has been given as com.cuspon.hello world shown is the overall structure of a gwt web project within which we have packages pertaining to client as well as server we also have a gwt.xml which works as a deployment descriptor for this gwt application below within the war folder we have the hello world.htm as well as the hello world css which forms the css for this html the starting point for this gwt application happens via the entry point which is present within gwt.xml we map the entry point class to hello world which is present within the package com.cuspon.hello world.client we also have a corresponding source paths for both client as well as shared currently we are using a theme with name clean we will explain more about themes in the coming tutorials shown is the hello world class which implements entry point thus saying this is the entry point which was again indicated via the entry made within hello world.gwt.xml whenever the hello world implements entry point it has to give body to on module load method within on module load we create a label as well as a button the label has value hello gwt from vishwa while the button has value click here now whenever someone clicks on the button we want some action to be triggered to do so we had a click handler over the button within which we create a new object of click handler and we over write the method on click within which i display the message by using window dot alert this will create a pop up with the message hello gwt from vishwa again once we have created the widgets like label and button it is our responsibility to add the same to the html which we do by getting a reference to it by using root panel dot get and within that get we add the label as well as button by writing this statement we add the label and button respectively to the html present within gwt application shown is the hello world dot html this is the default html which is created whenever we create a web application project pertaining to gwt it maintains a script referring to a javascript with the name hello world dot no cache dot js which is again created automatically whenever we create a google window toolkit web application we also have iframe and no script which will be displayed whenever javascript is not enabled 
we also have created a table the label and the button which we created will be added within this html each gwt component has a corresponding css which can be overridden as shown in the example in which we are giving a new css for gwt label as well as gwt button we set various css parameters like color font border and pad padding as well as height margin bottom font size and other properties once we overload these properties and add the css within our html the widgets which will be displayed will be as per the values we put within this css as told earlier within war the allo world folder is automatically created whenever we create the gwt application and it contains very important files which are used by hello world.html to test this application we can right click on hello world and run the application as a web application gwt applications can be run in two mode one is the development mode and other with respect to a server like apache tomcat for the development purpose we generally make use of development mode so whenever we run the application as a web application it runs in development mode and we will get this following url which we can copy within a browser to see the actual gwt page which is defined as per the application we wrote after copying the url from the development mode and putting the same within the web browser we are able to see the first gwt page which we created the results are displayed from the hello world which was our entry point many a times when you access the application for the first time it will ask you to download the google plugin for the particular browser you can easily click on s on doing which the browser will download the google plugin and later on on restart you will be able to see this page as we can see we have the label as well as the click here button and whenever we click on the click here button the window dot alert pops up saying hello gwt from vishwa again thus we have seen how to create a simple gwt application which has a label as well as button and an action associated with the button next let's see widgets which are present within gwt